with the advice. Friends, until you attain enlightenment, the spiritual teacher is indispensable. Therefore rely upon the holy spiritual guide. So Venerable Geshe-la explains um, these first two verses at the end of the chapter um, on ultimate bodhicitta in modern Buddhism. It's beautiful where they're put. So at the very beginning of the book, he encourages the reader. Um, he says that he prays that everyone who reads this book may accomplish inner peace or peace of mind and the real meaning of their life. He encourages them specifically um, to read the chapter on ultimate bodhicitta again and again with a positive mind and that through doing so they will develop um, a profound knowledge or wisdom that will um, give their life deep meaning. So he actually prays that this will happen. So at the end of the chapter on ultimate bodhicitta, which Venerable Geshe is guiding everybody to, is advice from Matisha's heart. This first verse, friends, until you attain enlightenment, so that's the ultimate goal of human life, until you attain enlightenment, that omniscient wisdom completely free from all mistaken appearances and that functions to give the ability to bestow mental peace on each and every living being every day. Until that happens, the spiritual teacher is indispensable, therefore rely upon the Holy Spiritual Guide. So Venerable Geshe's commentary, he says, we need to rely upon our spiritual guide until we attain enlightenment. So each one of us needs to think, until I attain enlightenment, I need to rely, moment by moment by moment by moment, I need to rely on my holy spiritual guide. So why is this? So the reason, Geshe says, is very simple. The ultimate goal of human life is to attain enlightenment. So if we use our life to its greatest purpose, we will accomplish um, the ripening and liberating of our Buddha nature and become an enlightened being. So this is the ultimate goal of human life. This is our opportunity, our potential. This depends upon continually receiving the special blessings of Buddha through our spiritual guide. So this is how we receive Buddha's special blessings. So they're not blessings, they're special blessings that come for a faithful practitioner so our ultimate goal of our life, our human life, is to attain enlightenment. And this depends upon continually receiving special blessings of Buddha. How do we receive those special blessings of Buddha? Through our spiritual guide. Buddha attained enlightenment with the sole intention of leading all living beings along the stages of the path to enlightenment through his emanations. So this is why Buddha attained enlightenment. To lead all living beings along the stages of the path to enlightenment through his emanations. So then the question comes, who is his emanation leading us along the stages of the path to enlightenment? So Buddha accomplished enlightenment to lead living beings along the path to enlightenment through his emanations. Then we ask the question, who is his emanation leading us 
along the stages of the path to enlightenment. It is clearly our present spiritual teacher who is sincerely and correctly leading us along correct spiritual paths. So what are those? The paths of renunciation, bodhicitta, and correct view of emptiness. By giving these teachings and showing a practical example of someone who is sincerely practicing them. This is our understanding of how to view our spiritual guide. The spiritual teacher who is sincerely and correctly leading us along correct paths of renunciation, bodhicitta and correct view through giving teachings and showing a practical example of someone who is sincerely practicing them. That's where our inspiration comes from, that example. We need to see, we need to see, experience um, the results. In order to be encouraged to practice, we need practical example of someone who is sincerely practicing these teachings that they're giving. With this understanding, we should strongly believe our spiritual guide is an emanation of Buddha and develop and maintain deep faith in him or her. So this is the very beginning of Atisha's advice, that until you attain enlightenment, the spiritual teacher is indispensable. Indispensable because we need blessings. <laughs>